woman is dead, and tonight police, friends, and family are asking questions. Her body was discovered today in Greenville. One person is behind bars now facing charges. Nine of your sides, Madison Forsey is live at the Pitt County Detention Center tonight. Madison, Domestic Violence Awareness Month is days away, and police say this case is putting a spotlight on the dangers. Yeah, Ken Shayla, we're learning that a Greenville woman was killed early this morning and her boyfriend came here and confessed to her death. Kelby Cox came to the Pitt County Detention Center, walked in the magistrate's office, and said that he stabbed his girlfriend, Maynette Herbert. Now, today, Herbert's friends and family are asking questions and coming to terms with the tragedy. It was just something in my gut that told me that he did this to my friend. Kelby Cox is in jail, charged in the murder of Maynette Herbert. Investigators call it domestic violence in the extreme. This is a very tragic case all around, and it's very evident by postings on social media today how much Ms. Herbert was really loved and admired in this community. Brevard Smith says he knew Herbert well. He was a life of the party, just very fun, outgoing. Kelby Cox reportedly told detention center workers he stabbed his girlfriend. Greenville police went to the couple's home at the Summer Place Apartments and found her body. Smith spent time with the couple a few weeks ago. I didn't see anything, you know, so it makes me question, what, did I miss something? Smith can't stop thinking about Herbert's family and cannot accept she's gone. It's so hard to just think that I'm not going to pick up the phone and, you know, she's going to answer and, you know, we're going to go hang out and laugh and this and that. It, it, it's just heart-wrenching. Police tell me they have no record of previous disputes between the couple. Cox will remain at the Pitt County Detention Center under a $2 million bond. For now in Greenville, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side. Madison, thanks.